Today we are making these daisy squares version 2.0. I'm using a 5mm hook. You will also need a darning needle later and a pair of scissors. I'm using five colors of yarn. I'm starting with daffodil for my center. So to start your granny square, um, do a chain of three. So you don't need to make a long tail. We're going to go over it and then just cut it with our scissors. If you're used to doing them with a magic ring, you're of course welcome to do that as well. So make your slip knot, however you're used to making your slip knots, and put it on your hook. Chain three. So that's wrap your yarn and pull it through the loop on your hook. One, two, and three. Then we're going to slip stitch to the first chain that we made. So just put your hook in, grab your yarn and bring it back, and bring it back through the loop on your hook. So that is a slip stitch. I keep my finger and, and thumb in the middle of my, my ring so I know where it is. I try to, although that time I didn't. Um, and chain three. One, two, and three. Now this chain three is going to count as a double crochet. So you're going to make 11 more double crochets into the center of the ring, which is there. So make 11 double crochets. There is my 11 double crochets and my chain three that counts as a double, so a total of 12. But just count to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Then you're going to slip, slip stitch to the top of the chain three. So in here, just push your hook and get two loops on your hook of any sort, it doesn't matter, and slip stitch to join. And then chain one to secure. Cut your yarn and pull your tail through and push down to secure. Now flip your center over and you'll see your tail from the center from your chain three. We can just cut that off now because we went over it. So just give that a little snip. And that is our center ready for our petals. So for the petals, I'm using white. To join your new color, you make a slip knot, and I leave enough of a tail that I can use with a needle later. Put your hook, put your loop on your hook. And then we're going to be making our petals into the spaces between our double crochets. So I start before my join, not the one right before, but the one before that. It's just so that my, I can go over my tails as I go around and I don't have my join in the same spot so there's no um, particularly bulky area. So slip stitch to join and chain four to start your petal. One, two, three, and four. We're going to be making three treble crochets into this space. So wrap your yarn twice, put it through, grab your yarn and bring it back, wrap your yarn and take off two, wrap your yarn and take off two, and wrap your yarn and take off two. That is one treble crochet, and our chain four also counts as a treble crochet. So wrap your yarn twice, put it into the same space, grab your yarn and bring it back, wrap your yarn and take off two, wrap your yarn and take off two, wrap your yarn and take off two. Now we're making a bit of a puff stitch, so you pull your loop up a little bit to give yourself some slack, and you're going to put your hook into the fourth loop, the fourth chain from the start. So one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. So this stitch here, and I'm going in putting two loops on my hook of any sort. Putting the loop back on my hook, tightening it back down, and bringing it through that chain. So that gives us our first petal. Chain two to secure your work and move to your next space. Now after the next double crochet, wrap your yarn twice, you're going to be making three treble crochets. 
So wrap your yarn, take off two, wrap your yarn, take off two, wrap your yarn, and take off two. So it's a triple take off. Doubles you take off twice, triples you take off three times. One, two, and three. Wrap your yarn, put it in, grab your yarn, bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two, wrap your yarn and take off two, wrap your yarn and take off two. Pull up your loop, take your hook out, put your hook into the top of the first treble, which is there. Put the loop back on your hook, tighten it down, and bring it through that stitch. Chain two to get to your next space. So you're going to keep doing this all the way around in between each of your previous double crochets, making three treble crochets and a chain two. Well, three treble crochets, turning them into a bit of a puff stitch by pulling your hook up, putting your hook under the first triple crochet in that space, putting the hook, the loop back on your hook, tightening it down, and pulling it through that stitch. So you're going to do that all the way around and I'll meet you for the join. And make sure as you're going around that you are going over your tails. I'm just holding them behind my work or on top of my stitches and just going over them underneath here. So when we're finished, we just cut those off too. So I've gone all the way around. We have 12 petals. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So now we're going to slip stitch to join. So at the top of your petal, I don't know if you can see, because white is difficult. Uh, at the top of your petal, you'll see this little stitch here where we did our chain one. So that's the one that pulled all of our, our cluster, our that's the one that pulled all of our triple crochets into a bit of a puff stitch. So we're going to go into that little stitch. If you look at the top, you'll see these, let me get that out of the way, you'll see these big stitches here, these ones along the top, that looks a bit weird, but you want to go into this little one, that one, that, that connected your treble crochets into a, into a puff stitch. So Put your hook into that little stitch and slip stitch to join and chain one to secure. And then you can see that that joins it in a place where it matches the rest of the, st of the petals. So cut your yarn, pull your hook through that chain one, including your yarn, and pull down to secure. So now with, when you look at your flower, you can't really see where your join was. I mean, you know it, it's there because of the tail, but it's even. So now we're going to do our next color, which is this nice green, our lime green. So we're going to join the same way, make a slip knot. Now for this one, we are using a needle for sure to sew in our tails. So make sure you leave enough, um, at least three inches, so you don't have to fight it later. Put the slip knot onto your hook. And now we're going to go into these, um, into these spaces. So another thing I do for this pattern is we're going to be making our stitches into the spaces between our petals. So to go over my tail a little bit, I'm going to pull it this backwards way. So I'm pulling it towards more. I'm going to start and I'm just pulling it into that stitch just so I don't forget it when I get there. You don't have to do that, but it's a little tip. It helps you remember to go over your tails in a nice, easy way. So I'm going to join in the space before my join, just to even it out and slip stitch into the space to join. So I'm going right into that space between the petals. And now I'm going to chain three, which is going to count as a double crochet. Into the same space, I'm going to do two more, or two double crochets, which will count as a total of three double crochets, including my chain three. So one, two, and three. 
chain one and into the next space. So I'm dropping my green tail now. I'll use a, ne a needle later. Going into my next space and going over my tail from my previous color, I'm going to make three double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain one to get to your next space and three double crochets into this space. Chain one to get to the next space. Into the next space, I'm going to be making a corner. So, in for our corners, it's three double crochets. One, two, and three. Push your stitches back a little to give you some more space. Chain three, one, two, and three, and three more double crochets into the same corner space. One, two, and three. Chain one to get to your next space. So that's what your corners look like. In between each corner we're going to be doing two shells into the two spaces. So three double crochets into this space. One, two, and three. A chain one, three double crochets into the next space, one, two, and three. And now we're going to do our corner. So chain one to get to our corner space, and then three double crochets, one, two, and three. A chain three. One, two, and three, and three more double crochets. So each of your corners is going to be like that regardless of what row you're on. They're always going to be three double crochets, a chain three, and three double crochets. Chain one to get to your next space. So you're going to make two shells of three double crochets each with a chain one in between. Chain one and do your corner. Chain one and do a shell, chain one and do a shell, and then this is your corner that where we're going to join. So work your way around following the pattern and I will meet you to join. Let me just show you this side here so you can visualize it. So we have a corner here and a corner here, our corners in these spaces, and then in between our corners we have two shells. So that's your pattern for going around. Everything is three double crochets and a chain one in between your spaces and your corners have a chain three and two shells. So double crochet, time. so three double crochet, a chain three and three double crochet into your corner spaces, two side shells for your sides, and then another corner, you keep going around like that. Chain one in between your shells. So I just finished this corner. So for this side, two shells in these two spaces with a chain one in between. So three double crochet, a chain one, three double crochet into this space. One, two, and three. A chain one to get to the next space. Push these stitches back. We're going to be making our corner in this space. So for here, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain three. One, two, and three. And slip stitch to the top of this chain three to join. So I'm going to go into this chain. I'm going over two loops. So I have two loops on my hook of any sort. doesn't matter. I just want two strands of yarn and slip stitch to join. So bring the yarn back and bring the yarn back. Chain one to secure. Cut your yarn and pull your hook up and pull down here. Now we're going to be going around this one with my next color. I'm just going to put my tail to the back. 
And to remember that I'm going to go over this tail when I get to that corner, I'm just going to put my hook into one of these loops and just grab my yarn loosely and just pull it down in there. Just so when I'm going around, I'll remember that I can go over that. It just makes sewing in your tails easier later on. Um, if you're making a pillow or something that's not a pillow cover or something that doesn't get washed rigorously, you could even just cut your tail um, after you're finished because we do have a knot here, but I'm going to still weave it back in because I'm making a blanket. So you're going to join your color the same way, making a slip knot, leaving enough of a tail to sew in with a needle later, and putting the loop on your hook. I'm going to join my yarn in the corner before my last join, so I'm going to join over here with a slip stitch. So just slip stitch to join and chain three, which is going to count as my first double crochet into that corner space. We're going to make one shell, so we're going to make two more double crochets into this corner space. So one and two chain one and now into these spaces in between our, our green shells of the previous round or whatever color your shells are in the chain one space we're going to be making this row of shells so three double crochets and a chain one into each space so into the space three double crochets chain one, into the next space, one more shell, one, two, and three, chain one. Now we're going to do our corner here, and because we put our little tail in, we know that like our tail is ready for us to go over. So wrap your yarn and make one shell of three double crochets, one, two, three, chain three, one, two, three, push your stitches back if you need to, and three more double crochets into the same corner, one, two, and three, chain one, and you're going to go all the way back along in the same way. So making a shell of three double crochets and a chain one into each of these spaces. Into the corner you're going to be doing a shell of three double crochets, a chain three, and a shell, pushing your stitches back, and a shell of three double crochets with a chain one. So a chain one in between everything, chain three on your corners. I will meet you when we get back here to join. Now I'm back to my corner, so I've pushed my stitches back to make some space and I'm going to make my last shell into this corner space to finish my corner. So three double crochets and I'm going over that tail. One, two, and three. For this round I'm going to change colors again, but at the end I will continue on with, I'll do two rounds of one color so you can see how to continue, um, how to join and continue your color. That is coming up. So to finish this color, I am going to chain three, one, two, three, and slip stitch to the top of your chain three, going over two loops of any sort, grabbing your yarn, bringing it back, and bringing it through the loop that was on your hook. Chain one to secure, cut your yarn, leaving enough to use with a needle, and pull your hook up to secure. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to bring this tail over this corner just to hold it down so I remember when I'm coming around that I can go over it nice and easily. So I flipped the work. Now these little tails here I can cut off. The yellow one I went over. The white one I went over. These ones I'm going to go over with a needle. Well, these ones I'm going to sew in with a needle when I'm finished. So getting my next color, which is this sapphire, I'm going to make a slip knot, same as usual. 
leaving enough of a tail to use with a darning needle later, and putting the loop on my hook. In the corner before my previous join, I am going to slip stitch, slip stitch to join and chain three. One, two, three. And making one shell of three double crochets. So two double crochets into the corner space. The chain three counts as a double crochet. So now doing the same way, working all your way around, I will meet you here where we will go up. Uh, we'll continue our next round in the same color. So I can show you how to join the round using the same color. If you don't know if you did your chain one or not, you can look at the yarn underneath your hook and you'll see two loops. So that is a double crochet, that's a take, take off two, so I know I did not chain. If you did chain underneath your hook, you will just see one loop. So that's an easy way to tell if you forget what you were doing. So work your way around, I will meet you back at the start. Here we are, back at our join. So to continue in the same color, you chain one, wrap your yarn, and into the third chain, or the top of the chain three, go into the stitch, keeping two loops on your hook, grab your yarn and bring it back, wrap your yarn, and take off all three. So we're making a half double crochet into that chain three to join. And you can see how that leaves us in the center of this corner space. So chain three, one, two, and three. Wrap your yarn and just continue as usual. So two double crochets to finish this shell because the chain three counts as a double crochet. Chain one to get to your new space and make a shell and a chain one in each space going across and then two shells into the corner with a chain three in between. So you can see how that made our corner and it has our join underneath this cluster so you can't see it and as you go up and up you don't um, get any weird chains going up anywhere that you can see them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. 